a lot of people ask if I have like a nostalgia for these old things, but I think they're very modern. It's part of everyday life, you know, and as they are now. I'm not trying to like glorify the way they were. Living in Arizona, mostly painting old buildings, abandoned gas stations. And if I'm traveling to California a lot, I'm painting more San Francisco cityscapes. I think it's a very personal thing. It's, you know, some people will maybe feel nostalgic. Some people will be like, oh, wow, this is really beautiful. I hope that some people will see the technical aspects. Um, for me, they're very personal, but I don't expect people to have the same interaction that I'm having. I want it to be personal for them, and I don't want to impose anything upon the viewer. It kind of happens very organically. You know, you can't really control it. You know, if I wanted to say I want to be a really loose painter, I'd probably end up getting more tight. So I feel like it is very natural, and kind of seeing how that evolves is, is far more interesting than than any other part of it. And seeing where it goes in the next 10 years, because 10 years ago is totally different than it is now. I don't use really good cameras or anything to get my reference material, because I feel like if I have a really good reference, then it's somehow, I'm married to that. Like if I had a really good photo, it'd be like trying to live up to the expectations of that. So like when I'm walking my dog in my neighborhood, I'll see old trailers or, you know, cars parked on the side of the street. I, you know, do small paintings a lot of the time to inform a larger painting and then sometimes you just have those references though that are like they have to be painted big you know it's just and some things only look good small you know and it also does depend on the reference it has to be a good reference and it has to have that information and it has to evoke that but a lot of the times too with a painting like this I add a lot of things to it as you go so you're adding more vehicles and you're like tweaking the composition to make it all work because when you're working this big it's not the same as when it's this big so you're not really sure exactly how it looks until it starts to expand and grow. Oh, I think it's fun to be around the other artists because a lot of us are in our studios and we're alone every single day just painting by ourselves so it's kind of fun to get out and learn how to socialize again. <laughs> you know it's like because I don't see my friends other than when they're here, you know. And it's fun to be around other painters and bounce your ideas off of them. And, you know, they like to do the same as well.